Number 1. Dodge C3 Pickup, 1955 Year of Issue According to the seller, this 1955 Dodge C3 Pickup is quite rare, especially in this mostly original, unmodified condition. The truck received a body off restoration and is in great condition per the seller who rates the paint condition as good with some minor chips but no rust or body damage. The 259 cubic inch Dodge V8 is backed by a column shift manual transmission. The 259 Q.N.OHV V8 was factory rated at 169 horsepower and 243 lb-ft of torque. The engine is original to the truck, per the seller. The carburetor is a two-barrel holly. The radiator has been updated according to the seller. The three-speed manual transmission is controlled via a column-mounted shifter. The truck underwent a body-off restoration in 2007 per the seller. The seller states that the truck has no rust or body damage. The matte dark blue paint isn't original, but it is in good shape per the seller. Links to listings below. Number 2. GMC Pickup. 1939 Year of Issue. This 1939 GMC pickup hot rod is definitely unique. Its short wheelbase and open wheels and tires make it clear that this isn't a restored classic pickup. A Chevy 350 V8 with side exit headers is semi-exposed, which further supports the hot rod theme both visually and orally. The boxed frame uses a Chevy S10 pickup front suspension and a Ford 9-inch rear end mounted on parallel leaf springs. The transmission is a GM Turbo Hydromatic 400 automatic. The truck was built by a professional fabricator according to the seller, who adds that it is loud, fast and safe, an all-around fun, dependable driver. The engine is an unspecified vintage Chevrolet 350 Q.N.OHV V8. The engine has roller rockers. The headers exit over the frame rails. The transmission is a turbo hydromatic 403 speed automatic. A Ford 9 inch rear end is mounted on parallel leaf springs with lowering blocks. The rear shocks are coilovers, per the seller. The body hasn't suffered any damage, according to the seller. A blitz black amateur repaint was sprayed over a professional PPG yellow paint job. Some areas still show the yellow paint. The black paint has been treated to restore the shine, per the seller. The seller reports no rust but some minor dings in the tailgate. The gray cloth interior is rated as excellent by the seller. A Krako stereo is mounted in the glove box. Stuart Warner auxiliary gauges are mounted under the dashboard. The truck has front disc brakes and rear drum brakes. The Coker Classic Wide White Wall Tires are size L7815 in back and G7815 in front. Links to listings below. Number 3. Vintage 550 Spider, 1956 Year of Issue With a history dating back nearly 30 years, Vintage Motor Cars has built a reputation for crafting accurate appearing Speedster and Spider replicas. including this New York-based 1956 vintage 550 Spider model. It was built in 2000 and purchased by the seller in 2011. He's added only about 600 miles since then, and the car, which is driven by a period 2.1-liter Volkswagen flat-4 engine, wearing Porsche valve covers and a manual transaxle. The car is in excellent condition, says the seller, the car has a fiberglass body mounted on a tubular steel frame. Under the clamshell style rear hood is a VW 2.1 liter air-cooled OHV flat four engine. The engine breathes through a pair of Weber carburetors. A four-speed transaxle is mated to the engine. The silver exterior finish is said to be in excellent condition. 
a GT-style outside mirror is mounted on the front fender. There's also a racing-style headrest fairing behind the driver's seat. The interior features low-back racing seats with harnesses trimmed in red leather. There's also a chrome roll hoop and a wood-rimmed steering wheel. Vintage-appearing 190-style wheels are matched with Falcon radial tires. Links to listings below. Number 4. Volkswagen Carmen, 1973 year of issue. This Olympic blue, 1973 Volkswagen Carmen Ghia convertible, showing an odometer reading of 85,585 miles, is described by the seller as a two-owner example of the VW Roadster. Said to run well, with no significant body issues, the Type 14 is avowed to have been garaged regularly during the current owner's 35-year stewardship. The paint is said to be original to the car and in fair condition. All mechanicals are held to be in good condition. The rear-mounted, air-cooled 1.6-liter OHV Flat 4 was tuned to produce 46 horsepower and 72 lb-ft of torque. The engine is declared to start fine from cold with no smoke. A three-speed semi-automatic transmission, Volkswagen's automatic stick shift, sends power to the rear wheels and is said to work well. The engine and transmission are reported original with no rebuilds. Neither leaks nor weeps are attributed to the engine or transmission. Finished in its original Olympic blue paint, the body is avowed dent-free. No concerns are noted regarding the convertible roof. Links to listings below. Number 5 Volkswagen Type 181, 1973 year of issue. The Volkswagen Type 181 originated as a vehicle VW purposely began producing for NATO military forces in 1968. The rear-drive 181 combined existing Volkswagen Type 1, Beetle, and pre-1968 Type 2 bus parts, including the latter's reduction gear, portal axle rear suspension. Civilian versions were called Thing, Safari, or Trekker, its badge in England. The jaunty VW was like a factory dune buggy, a four-door runabout with removable top and doors, plastic windows, and a fold-down windshield. The interior was painted metal with rubber floor mats so you could hose it out if needed. VW claimed a top speed of 68 miles per hour. The air-cooled 1.6-liter OHV Flat 4 was rated at 46 horsepower by the manufacturer. The engine's 72 lb-ft of peak torque at 2,800 revolutions per minute made the thing feel peppy in local driving. The seller believes the engine to be original. The floors and fenders were replaced. A reported repaint appears in very nice condition. The untrimmed metal interior was also repainted. The black vinyl seats appear to be in good condition. Photos show the optional trunk-mounted gasoline-fueled heater.